Oh, you know what time it is. <laughs> Get back in time in this Clarence rack over here. Look, they've got 120 gig zoom. When was the last time you've seen a zoom? The juke was the thing back in the day. Both of these iPads are coming apart from the screen and the assembly. You can see the light coming through. You can see it even better on this guy. Of course, I got a sticker to remember that pretty bird. Pretty bird. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now in Waynesboro, the bird dog capital of the world. To testament that fact, we've got a water tower with a dog on it. Looks like George Washington even visited this place on May 17th, departing from Savannah to Augusta. He traveled six miles out of the way to visit the town of Waynesboro, named for General Andrew Anthony Wayne, who this town is named, and who George Washington served with in the Revolution. And they got more cannons over here, circa 1861. Same cannons, I think is yesterday, right? Or were used in the Civil War? One thing I love is these old courthouses. And saying it's going down. <laughs> I'm yelling timber. Yeah, you better move. This very golden pantry was George Washington's sleeping spot for the night. Well, obviously he didn't sleep in the convenience store. It was once a hotel. This rock commemorates the day. It's going down. Oh, double down. That's what's up. <laughs> Face down, Buddha up. <laughs> I got a new subscriber. <laughs> That's crazy. But if old George was looking for a job, we're hiring right on this here land. Once trotted the old GW. The old, oldest GW. Not, not Bush. No, who smoked the lot of Bush and Kush? George Washington himself. If Washington, the originator of the United States, smoked weed, why is it still illegal? They even got their own license plate, the Eagles. They're taking over. Are those the dogs? Still don't know why it's the bird dog capital of the world. Pretty cool. I should have known the word bird is in its name, but he's actually used to collect birds when they're shot in the town of Waynesboro had a huge population of quail which they would hunt and then the bird dogs would go retrieve it. They also do hunting of rabbits which also use that dog for hunting and chasing. There he is though. Old bird dog. Doesn't he doesn't abandon his post. I bet I bet as soon as he goes out to get his thing, he comes right back. Not like most bird, bow bird dogs I know. I almost missed that flame of freedom. Showing us that freedom is not free. These guys lost their lives. I love the churches that look like castles. Oh, how's it going guys? You guys are really close today, huh? Oh yeah, you're all looking at me, huh? Oh. <laughs> it's okay, guys. I don't think I've ever been this close to a cow before. It's awesome. Here's all, where all those bird dogs went to work at the Dye Lane Plantation Wildlife Management Area. 8,100 acres of federally owned land to which they hunt anything you could see in quota of course closed because it's not
not a not of season but if it were oh boy I would have to show them my guns put out these two white bad boys and blind the world a little ways down the road you can see these guys just chilling up on right there but you can't get out you can't get out there's a dog watch system hidden fence like hidden figures but for dogs here sits all those dogs headstone for all of them along with a couple of other animals that belong to Mr. Henry Barol an heir to the Eagle Pencil Company in New York he purchased this land 800 8,100 acres to run trials on field trials were held from 1950 when he bought it right there till 1978 that's what a field trial is it's a competitive event at which hunting dogs compete against one another he had a couple of georgia derby winners too included our 122 bird dogs four horses one cat two pet cocker spaniels and two mules even himself at one time he said he wanted to be buried here with all of his favorite animals although a couple of years after that his family didn't like it too much they exhumed him and buried him in new york how many pencils do you think they can make out of a coffin so many of them and they all have epithets one of our very best champions Mother of our good Colts. <laughs> A good broad bitch. <laughs> Slamming Jill. My favorite hunting pal. It's my pride and joy. It's my sweet baby. I, I'm a little humble. Quail, looks like the sun went down again on another day. And I have to say, thank you guys for watching. And remember to eat cherry pie and take a lot of selfies. And dogs. And I'll see you tomorrow.